again 825i and we've just installed a Victron energy monitor so it's like a fuel gauge for your batteries keeps everything under control so you know what your batteries are doing so if you're staying overnight for a few nights you can um, keep your house batteries monitored and make sure also that the starter battery has good voltage um, it was pretty easy to install the probably biggest hassle was uh, running a cat5 cable so like the usual network cable um, from the batteries where the shunt is and I can show you that later all the way up to uh, here where I've installed the monitor so you can see here I've got it neatly installed with all my other uh, switches uh, so let's have a quick look at it so at the moment I've got basically nothing running uh, so yeah you can see it's I've just been charging the battery so that's good so that's the house batteries that's the starter battery that's how many amps are being drawn so that's pretty good not much that's two watts of time over time that's the amp hours that have been drawn and that's how much battery is left so just to show you how responsive this is we'll go to amps being drawn and we'll turn on all the lights so you can see immediately so hold on I'll show you how quick that is so the lights go off down it goes so as soon as I switch it you can see immediately the amps start ramping up. Got a fair few lights going on in here. Going to do something about that later too. And uh, you can see the amps jump up straight away. And how many watts you're drawing. And obviously amp hours will count along to that. Now the biggest thing with this one is this is the Bluetooth version. So it's all good and fine to sit down here and monitor what's happening. But um, you, it gets sent to your phone. So you can get a real time... Of what's happening with everything on board and when you're switching between everything you can see how much amp draw is happening off all your things so for instance my refrigerator go back to amps there we go just switched on so just what the compressor starts up it goes to three and a half amps and that'll drop down goes up and down over time obviously but you can keep a really good eye on everything that's happening all right so let's go have a look at how this was installed Okay, so just under here in the engine room. Okay, so there's all the batteries. And there's the Victron shunt just there. So that connects to the negative side of the batteries. Straight off up to the battery. And the other side goes down to the chassis. So there's nothing in between. Uh, there's the Cat45 that goes to the main Victron unit. And the two red cables. Uh, one powers the Victron unit and also gives the voltage for the house batteries. And the second one gives the voltage for the starter batteries. So you don't get any other data off the starter battery apart from voltage. 